Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And in today's video, I'm gonna be answering a question that I got via email yesterday. And it was a question based on integral eye movement therapy, which I thought was a genuinely good question. So I'm gonna keep the guy anonymous, but I am gonna read you his email aloud. And he said, hi Dan, really enjoying your videos and it's been great to understand my anxiety more when I go out to do day game. So uh, if anything, thank you very much. I will uh, slip you a fiver as a thank you. And he said, you talk about IEMT in some of your videos and I wonder if you could do a video explaining how IEMT could be used with day gaming as this might be something that I need. Well, to keep you guys just on the uh, the same page of what is IEMT or integral eye movement therapy it is essentially a tool set that I'm able to use that allows me to detach unwanted emotions from a client's memory so let's say growing up you had some bad experiences maybe you were rejected by someone maybe you did public speaking and you were embarrassed maybe you were bullied maybe you had some uh, experiences with your parents where they were just super strict on you. And so whatever those learning experiences were or experiences that you had that you learned bad behaviors or bad habits from have then rippled into your life. And in present time, it's now caused you social anxiety. You are scared to relive that experience because your memory is telling you if you do this, things will play out this way again and I want to protect you. I don't want you to be hurt or embarrassed or ashamed. So you'll have then guys who just will avoid those scenarios completely. And I think this is where like in something like with day game, it is very, very applicable because day game really just emphasizes the ability to develop your social skills, your social intelligence, your spatial awareness, and just that ability to communicate to a stranger. And the thing is that with most people who are going out and doing their normal everyday lives, or they've got very particular jobs, or even having a very uh, normal dating life, maybe even average dating life, but just a normal one, they are able to communicate properly. They're able to socialize, have conversations, flirt, and so on. But you will get guys who unfortunately, because of experiences that they've had, that is going to be a no-go for them. They are going to be absolutely petrified of the idea of talking to a stranger, of flirting with a stranger, and, and so on. So experiencing integral eye movement therapy for guys who are maybe very new to doing day game, or maybe they have actually got a lot of social anxiety or traumas of things that hold them back from talking to people, then eye movement therapy is going to be able to change the way in how you think about those previous experiences or at least kind of like bring that intensity down so you will be willing to go and try and get some new experiences and get new reference experience so definitely for guys that are doing day game if you are someone who does have a lot of social anxiety, maybe even depression, maybe you've got some traumatic memories and experiences, maybe even things like PTSD or uh, sexual performance as well, eye movement therapy can be really great for that, just to change the way in how you experience or how you think about those experiences. But that's then going on the memory side of things. Now, what's also really great with IEMT is that it also allows you to change the way in how you think about yourself and the limiting beliefs that maybe you've got. So applying it again with day game, uh, let's say you've got a guy who just isn't very confident and he believes that he's not good enough, he's incapable of having a conversation, maybe he feels unwanted, unloved, uh, he doesn't believe that he's going to be very good at having conversations, and so that's also one of the reasons why he then looks to avoid having any kind of interaction, because he just doesn't want that validation of his uh, limiting beliefs. So being able then to do eye movement therapy on those particular aspects 
of uh, someone's issues. It can also just change the way in how you perceive about yourself. Now, we're not looking for like massive changes here. You know, I'm not going to make people suddenly become some like delusional idiot and they believe that they are 10 out of 10s, they can get everything and the world's their oyster. That is just completely unrealistic. But what we are looking to kind of like do here and by we I mean me and the client that I'm working with or the guy that I'm working with we're looking at shifting those beliefs and allowing him to be able to then continue on his journey so if again with uh, the rejection side of things he's scared to go over and do an approach because maybe he's had some bad rejections in the past Eye movement therapy will change the way in how he thinks about those approaches, maybe gets him to realize that, you know what, they weren't so bad. Or when those symptoms of anxiety start appearing, those physical symptoms, maybe even not just mentally, but when like the heart starts racing, the palpitations, the sweats, the flight or fight response kicks in, then that is going to be where eye movement therapy will make a difference. Suddenly it might go from being frozen to the spot to going you know what, I'm going to go over and speak to that person and it's okay if it doesn't go well, that's fine. I don't know what their scenario is or what their situation is. Maybe they're even having a bad day, but until I go and have that experience, I don't know. So there's no point in me future predicting. So it gets you to be much more sensible with your thinking and attitude towards the uh, the beliefs and experiences that you had before. And even with the limiting beliefs, if you've got a guy who goes, I, I, I can't do it, it's going to go horribly wrong, then eye movement therapy is going to also change and challenge those beliefs that he has and gets him to think about it differently and go, well, I can't predict the future. I don't know how it's going to go. There's no point putting myself down with it. I should just go over and talk to her. Now, I'm kind of saying these sort of like uh, these thoughts verbally aloud, but it could literally be just as simple as then if they worked with a coach, uh, a dating coach at that, um, that a coach might say, right, can you go and talk to that person? And my client would go and do it. They, they would just not really have as much of a hesitation you know we're not looking of like curing fear here um that certainly isn't possible fear is healthy it's good to have some fear some anxiety is good but it's when it starts to become over controlling and it prevents you from living your life whether it be an extraordinary one or even just a very normal and average one if it's preventing you from doing simple things such as talking to strangers or asking questions or certainly even having a dating life then things have to change you can't just be relying on you know going out and trying to force yourself to talk to people if you've got these traumas that you know are affecting your interactions and that is again what I really like with the eye movement therapy is such it's such a simple uh, set of exercises that I think really can make all the difference and in fact with some of the stuff that I do as well whether it be with having the eye movement therapy sessions or if I'm doing my dating desensitization therapy which I will be revealing very very shortly once my new website is up where I can then be going out and taking guys out on the street to do daytime cold approaching and we're talking about very beginner level stuff here it's certainly not like what a dating coach would teach but just the ability to take you out and get you used to being in a social environment and just socializing with people it's kind of then more of like a stepping stone before going to a dating coach that kind of like taster experience for a week but even during that when i'm taking guys out if there are traumas or uh, certainly anxious feelings that arise, I'm able to use the eye movement therapy on them and work on those issues literally on the fly. And they will be able to see that change over the week as well. So not only then am I then able to take guys out and do um, the daytime cold approaching and just the, the again, the very incremental baby steps of it not even trying to get guys to take them out and 
you know, have crazy long conversations or get phone numbers. That's the job of a dating coach. But if guys aren't mentally prepared for those experiences, because it's quite extreme. If you're a guy who suffers a lot of anxiety and suddenly now you're going from never talking to strangers to now being forced in the most uh, uh, unnormal environment to go and talk to people who are well and truly out of the league that you'd consider yourself talking to, then your anxiety is going to go straight from like level one to level 100 and you'll get that rubber band effect. You will just be completely repelled at the idea of talking to people and it can actually make the trauma worse. And I have seen that happen when guys have gone to dating coaches. If they weren't mentally prepared, if they weren't in that right place just yet to go out and do uh, a day game or cold approaching it backfires and then they just never want to go out they never want to talk to people and in fact I've, I've known one or two people over the years who've become uh what's the word agoraphobic so I don't want that to happen with guys I want guys to just you know take those baby steps there's no rush towards it however much the dating industry tries to push you've got to get your results within you know uh, a couple of days you know it, it's it's everyone's got their own pace as far as I'm concerned and that's what I kind of like with it so if you are thinking about eye movement therapy and uh to the guy who sent me this email I really hope this kind of made a lot more sense to you but yeah the main message here is that being able to detach whatever those previous emotions are to memories or experiences that you've had will certainly make it even easier to try and move forward and try and progress with your life, especially in your dating life with talking to people. If you can at least reduce those symptoms of anxiety or reduce the uh, traumas that you've had with talking to strangers or even just how you feel about yourself can make all of the difference. So if that's something that maybe you do want to experience, I offer my eye movement therapy sessions. Definitely have a look on my website. The new website will be coming soon. Uh, if otherwise, check the link. It might already be there, but uh, if if you're watching this in a couple of weeks time, um, but definitely if you are interested, reach out for a complimentary client assessment where I can get a better understanding from you of where you're at in your life. I can give you some feedback, give you some advice. And if you are interested in eye movement therapy or even doing my dating desensitization therapy, which will include some eye movement therapy if it's necessary, then definitely check out my website and reach out to me uh, via email and hopefully we can book something in and I can kind of push you uh, or help you sail in the right direction, if that makes sense. That's probably a kind of a, a weird analogy to bring in sailing after talking about memories and experiences, but there you go. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video as well. Uh, what kind of traumas and anxieties and limiting beliefs do you have about yourself when you go out to go and do day game or daytime cold approaching on whatever kind of scenario or environment i'd love to hear your thoughts how you handle them and if you can please like the video subscribe to the channel stay up to date on all of my stuff it really helps me out it helps the channel grow and certainly the more views the likes comments and stuff then the more my channel can certainly reach more men and i can help more men as well i really want to bring and or take away the stigma of guys seeking help for dating um, I think it should be an absolutely normal, natural thing. The same sort of attitude that you have if you're going to go to a personal trainer. And the only way I can do that is by growing my uh, my name and reputation of the good that I'd love to be able to help guys with, and especially with helping them with their dating anxiety too. So again, I've been that dating anxiety guy. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, I will speak to you soon.